was very clear they had these records when they were asking Fannie and Nathan questions last Friday. And um, it's now knowing what we know from this affidavit and these phone records, it's very interesting to watch the testimony because Nathan knows, Fannie knows, they know what the truth is and watch them dance on these questions. Here's Fannie being careful not to actually say exactly how many times Nathan Wade visited that condo. Again, now we know it was at least 35 occasions when he was there for an extended period. Watch. Could you give us an approximation of how many times Mr. Wade visited you at the condo between the time you moved in and prior to November 1 of 2020? I don't think often, but I don't rem I don't want to speculate. Can we say more than five, more than 10? I'm going to tell you the problem I'm having here. Let's say more than 10, but I'm not sure that that's even accurate. Uh, he certainly has come and picked me up, gone and grabbed some food to eat. I don't remember him being in that condo a lot. That's your I, I don't. I'm sorry. You want a number, and what I don't want to giving do. Giving me your your current and best recollection is all I'm asking for. That's all I can give you, sir. Okay. And now here's Nathan Wade. Just for the audience, because the name is interesting. It sounded like Hateville, Georgia. I remember thinking that when we yeah. last Friday, thinking who would name their town Hateville? It's Hate with a P, yeah. like Paul Hapeville. Here's Nathan Wade's commentary about the number of times he visited the condo. Your answer is yes, prior to November 1st of 2021, you would have gone to the Hapeville condo and been there with Miss Willis, correct? Yes. And you would have been there, as you indicated, for many reasons, right? Yes. Can you give me just a list of few of the reasons? Miss Yurdy resided there, went to visit her, um, maybe went to talk about uh, a, a document that I received. Um, you would go to the condo I and talk about a document that you received? Absolutely. Okay, go ahead. Absolutely. Any other reasons? None come to mind. None come to mind? No, sir. And uh, would you say that was frequent? When I say frequent, do you think prior to November 1st of 2021, you were at the condo more than 10 times? No, sir. So it would be less than 10 times? Yes, sir. So if phone records were to reflect that you were making phone calls from the same location as the condo before November uh, 1st of 2021, and it was on multiple occasions, the phone records would be wrong? If phone records reflected that, yes, sir. They'd be wrong. They'd be wrong. Okay. Any other reasons why you would be in the Hapeville area on multiple occasions prior to November 1st of 2021? Let's see. The Porsche experience is there. I'm sorry? The Porsche experience is there. Okay, so that would have been one. Any other um, reason? Yes, sir. The the airport is there. Airport in Hapeville. Uh, yes, sir. Delta Airlines is okay. Okay. headquartered there. Um, let's see. <coughs> Restaurants there. Okay. Um, If, you have, if that's your recollection, that's fine. I'm not asking you to try to remember everything. Okay, Phil. So again, I never had an associate drop me off a document at two in the morning and then stay for several hours. The Porsche experience, I, unless that's a euphemism for what he calls Fanny, that doesn't work either, not overnight. Mm -hmm. And then the airport, this investigator... Um, Charles Middlestadt specifically said modality was used to eliminate the possibility that hits could be associated with routine travel on I-75 or I-85 or nearby the airport. He did his best to eliminate any commercial site um, that was in the cell phone towers. Having said that, it's not an exact science. It's not an exact science. But, you know, you heard him there saying scoffing at the notion he was ever there more than 10 times. Well, it, you know, the, the truth will, will out. It will always come out. I think the one thing that, that you, in that testimony that he left out was that he went down there to that condo 
uh, to get her to help him with his briefs. I think that's probably what he what what he should have said, Plus. and that's probably more close to to what's being accurate. Listen, this was a booty call. That's what these were. Look, we can call a spade a spade, um, and he can it's say if he wants to that the that the phone records are wrong, but they're not. The you know phone records don't just change themselves. Uh, they've got him. They've got him dead to rights. They've caught him. They've caught her, quite frankly, I think, in my opinion, uh, in, in some lies. And it's not just one. It's over and over and over and over. And so now this case is no longer about the guilt or the innocence of the accused. It's about the prosecutor. It's about the prosecution team now. All these people that work for her, they now have to go into court and they've got to decide for themselves, you know, do we still carry this water for our boss? Do we buy into this claim that the phone records may be fake? Because they have an ethical obligation as lawyers to be truthful and candid with the court. And, and they can't go into court and advocate something that's knowingly false. Because then they are doing the same thing that it looks like, in my opinion, Wade and Willis are doing. And they can get disbarred and they could go to jail. They could be found in contempt of court. All sorts of bad things can happen to them. Right about now, the least of Fonnie Willis's concerns is the guilt or innocence of the accused in this case, whether she gets any more convictions. She's going to be lucky to get out of this mess that she's in with her law license intact. I mean, we are into territory, Megan, where she could be – uh, tossed from office. Uh, she could be indicted. She could be referred for uh, bar investigations. You know, the attorney general watches the news here in Georgia. There are procedures and mechanisms in place to take action when, when people commit crimes in a courtroom, and it is a crime to lie to the judge. It, it, and and this, is a, this is exactly what she's accusing a lot of these defendants of doing. And here, it, it's on full display right here for, for the whole world to see her barging right, so you gotta, in there. You, you got to hear this, Bill. This is just breaking um, on her response uh, via CBS News. The Fulton County DA's office is working Friday to craft a rapid legal response that explains why cell phone data unearthed by Donald Trump's lawyers does not undermine the timeline DA Fannie Willis gave regarding when her relationship with Nathan Wade began. A source close to Willis said lawyers in her office are trying to challenge the interpretation of the data filed by Trump's lawyers. If the data analysis is proven to be accurate, it might serve as a powerful piece of evidence that Wade and Willis misled the court about when their relationship began, among other things. The Trump team's analysis was conducted by a private investigator who used a geofencing analytics tool called CellHawk, we knew this, which the investigator called the gold standard in cell phone records analysis. On Friday, lawyers for the DA's office were trying to find their own expert witnesses who would be able to counter what the Trump lawyers have asserted, according to the source. Their hope is to be able to file a response as early as Friday or this weekend. Quote, the interpretation of the data is not what you think it is, end quote, the source told CBS News. Lawyers for the DA's office are not expected to claim that Wade did not visit the condo on multiple occasions. Indeed, both Wade and Willis have testified that Willis was there as many as 10 times, but they will maintain that the relationship had not developed into a romance during that period. By the way, nice sleight of hand by CBS News. They both testified that he was there as many as 10 times. They don't point out, he, he we just heard him testify, definitely not more than 10. Uh, okay, anyway. Going on, the source also says that it was not uncommon, all right, ready for this, Bill, for Willis to hold work meetings at the condo. <laughs> Wade was not working in the DA's office until November of 21. Oh, my God. But the source says he was part of her, quote, kitchen cabinet before that. In one meeting, according to the source, Wade was involved in discussions about the Atlanta spa shooting case in which eight people were allegedly shot to death by a disturbed gunman. So this is the kitchen cabinet, not the kitchen sink, but the kitchen cabinet defense. I mean, that's kitchen she's counter. she's a tough boss if she's calling you over there for six hours overnight when you're supposed to be getting I mean, your sleep pill. You know, I mean, <laughs> it was it the kitchen. I mean, honestly, that's I, this is there's it's just. It's so incredulous. I just can't believe that this is their excuse. This is something that just absolutely defies all logic and credibility. It's worse than the cash explanation. Megan, this is worse yes. than the cash. She's saying that he was over there till four or five o'clock in the morning on a kitchen cabinet meeting. 
I mean, I, I don't know what rooms they visited each other in. Maybe some of them were the kitchen. Maybe it was the the back patio. Who knows? But this cell data was it was it's there. I I know this investigator. He's very good. He's as good as the cops are. He's better than a lot of cops. He's not going to be impeachable in the sense that, you know, his work product is is not going to be something that they're going to be able to easily dispel. And here's the other thing. I was thinking about this when you were reading um, that response. Do you think that this was the only evidence that the Trump team and the Roman defense team are, are holding back or I'm pretty sure they've got more. So what's going to happen, we're going to see them come out with some cockamamie type of response. And then round two comes. And, mm -hmm. and then, you know, it's, it's the kind of thing where you give them enough rope and let them hang themselves. That's exactly what these defense lawyers are doing, and they are doing it exquisitely. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.